Hi, and welcome to OnlineBackupReviews.org. My name is Mauricio, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can really make sure that your data is secure when you are using cloud storage services like iDrive, like Google Drive, like Dropbox, like SugarSync, or any other cloud storage services that is out there. And the key to real secure encryption is that you not only trust your cloud storage provider because those providers are merely going to encrypt the connection between your computer and their servers. And sometimes there is another additional security layer on their servers as well. But the key thing here that is missing is local encryption on your hard drive. So when I'm saying local encryption, I mean that there is actually that your files are securely stored prior to sending them over to the cloud. So this is what we're going to cover in this video. And if you don't like to watch a video, I can highly recommend you read the article we've published on how to encrypt your data for cloud storage. Uh, and you can find the link um, at the bottom of or at this in the description window in this YouTube video so you don't have to type in the URL manually. And in this video, we are going to have a look at a popular service that is called Boxcryptor. Uh, of course, there are other services that do the same thing. There is TrueCrypt, which is open source. And if you're a little more tech oriented and if you like to fiddle around and if you really like open source, you might want to go for TrueCrypt, which is a free alternative. Boxcryptor is free as well, but there are some limitations to the free version. They have a premium plan where you can also encrypt uh, files, where, where, where you can also encrypt the file name. So if somebody got access to your, let's say you're using Dropbox and somebody got access to your Dropbox folder, then that person would see that there are files in that folder, but couldn't read the f n neither the file name nor the, uh, the content of that file. If you're using the free version, that person could technically read the file name and file extension and see, okay, here now I have stored a PDF, a picture, or what have you. So Boxcryptor uh, is available on boxcryptor.com and you can easily download it uh, from, their, from their website. I'll just uh, quickly show to you here. And they are compatible with the major cloud storage services that you can see on the right. So download it, install it. And after installing Boxcryptor, you can see a little icon here at the top. And that means that Boxcryptor is successfully running. I'm now, of course, using a Macintosh, but the same process works for Windows as well. And Boxcryptor mounts a disk where you can store your files and those files are going to be encrypted with a highly secured personal password and security layer so that only you can encrypt, uh, decrypt those files. So I could open that drive and it will obviously show me the contents because now you see the lock is actually unlocked and I can go ahead and open the contents that are in, in this folder. Or I could go ahead and access my folders that I have prepared with Boxcryptor that can be on any location, can, can even be on an external hard drive. Because imagine you took your USB thumb drive to the airport because you're traveling for business and you have important business files in that USB thumb drive and now accidentally you lose that or it gets stolen. And all the important data is on that USB thumb drive. Now, anybody could now read your files, but if you use Boxcryptor on that thumb drive, it will automatically be encrypted. So you're only, so somebody who access your files will only read gibberish there and could not see what the actual contents of those files are. And for that to work, you have to specify a folder. So let's dive into the preferences of Boxcryptor here real quick. Whoops, preferences. And what we are seeing is that we can now um, open our encrypted folder or we can just uh, see where it lies. So I've already saved my important files for the folder within the Dropbox folder, but of course you can create a new one and select a location on your computer. So you could say other, and if you had mounted an external hard drive, you could now 
select the external hard drive and create the folder there. Or you could go, for example, ahead and create it on your Naturalistic Attack storage, which I have here also. So I'm gonna cancel that because I've already created it for Dropbox. And now I wanna show you what actually happens if somebody got access to your computer or to your cloud storage service and would uh, find that folder and wanted to read the contents of that folder. So I'm going to uh, quickly unmount the, um, the box cryptor folder. And now you see that the lock is actually active. So I'm gonna quit, quit that too. And now somebody scans your files in your Dropbox folder. And remember, those files are also stored on your computer, not only in the Dropbox cloud, and wanted to access the important files .bc. If a folder has the extension bc, you know that this is an encrypted folder uh, from Box Cryptor. So everything you store in there is pretty much secure. And now you have to type in your personal password that you have to provide when you install Box Cryptor. The thing is, you should never forget this password because this is the whole idea of encrypting your files. Your password is unique and nobody knows this password. So even if you wanted Dropbox or Boxcryptor or whatever service to restore that password, it would be impossible because you are the only person who knows that password. So you really need to store that password on a secure location and ideally choose a password that has special characters and numbers in it. Now you can access this folder and see which files are actually in there or edit those files or whatever. So let's just quickly preview that. Okay, fine. Now imagine somebody got access to your Dropbox account data and would go to dropbox.com to see, oh, let's see what Mauricio has in his uh, Dropbox account. Quickly, let's see how that happens. So now he logged in and can access out all of our files. And now he browses through the folders and finds a folder that is called, hmm, how might that folder be called? Where are important files to be stored? Hmm, let's just have a look at that. Oh, now there are interesting, interesting manuals here that, that I wanna read. So I could open that, but of course, I could not see what is in there. I can see the file name, but I cannot see what is actually in there. And that is a crucial part, of course. If you purchase the premium version of Boxcryptor, you could also decipher, no, encrypt, I'm sorry, the file name. So you have, so we would have an additional security layer on top of that. This is how Boxcryptor works uh, in general. And if you wanna know which cloud storage service is the best service for your needs and that has special security requirements, you should go to our comparison chart and have a look at all the providers that we have reviewed. You can read detailed reviews and even find some bonus codes in here. So you should really check that out. Thank you very much for watching this video or for reading the article for that matter. I hope I could really show you how important it is to encrypt your files properly, especially with the NSA scandal that loomed now for several weeks over us. So I really hope I could help you with that video. And if you liked it, please go ahead and share it uh, on YouTube and give it a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Thank you very much. And we are going to see us in the next video. Bye-bye.